हरे कृष्णा श्री नम परमाल की जय श्री श्री न प्रभुपाद की जय हरे कृष्णा सो टुडे वी विल स्पीक अबाउट वन फेस्टिवल ऑफ नम परमाल दैट इज अबाउट कार्तिक मास फेस्टिवल सो इन कार्तिक मास श्रीरंगम टेंपल विल बी डेकोरेटेड विथ लॉट ऑफ घी लैम्स and especially on uh, three particular days in three places they will make a maha lamp like uh, within the raganaji's temple they will decorate the whole um, temple with full of ghee lamps all the people will gather also they will make like a rajagopuram big gopuram in the floor with different flowers and full of ghee lamps that they will do in the raganaji's temple and another day they will do in the lakshmi ji's temple raganaji temple in front of that uh, one mandapa is there seti mandapa in front of that mandapa they will decorate the temple full temple with thousands of lamps that is in raganayaki temple and another day in front of sudarshan chakra that huge like a huge ground the whole area they will decorate with the uh, lamps and uh, and particularly on this particular and the main kartika main day that day in front of there is one gopuram in shirangam temple that is called as kartika gopuram because the kartika month festival happened there in front of that mandapa in front of that gopura they will make a huge uh, pile of palm leaves they will tie it like a you know like a round shape one they will they will build it like a big huge gopuram they, they build it like a make, a make it like a gopuram with full of palm leaves inside it will be hollow but outside it will be very thickly they will tie tie it up and like a very huge something like a, um 20 feet height they will make 20 to 25 feet height 20 to 30 feet height and they will make huge pile of palm leaves and within that palm leaves they will keep so many crackers and on that particular day ranganath ji will be dressed in a very special dress and ranganath ji will be covered with a, a special arch behind raganaji a green color flower this is a standard everything in shirangam they that they maintain the standards which is settled by the acharyas this day this flower should be there this color dress should be there this many times offering should do so in that way raganaji will come with a green color arch uh, palakin raganaji they started by a uttamenam bi the acharya kal uttamenam bi is the in charge for that festival then the ranganaji will come in a palakin he will go one round parikram of the ranganaji temple then he will come to the particular place of that kartika gopuram there the lord will come lord also will do one round procession then in, into that uh, palm pile then lord will go and stand near to the sudarshan chakra temple then on behalf of the lord the some of them are uh, responsible that service was given to allotted to some devotees they will come inside this palm pile and they inside there will be ladders to climb to the top then the top they will fire it very tactfully they will fire they start the fire and when they quickly they will get down and they go out then there will be a huge fire it's like a mountain burning such a huge fire will be there that is a huge deepa deepotsava kartika month the lightning festival that's very wonderful festival it's called tamil they call as sokkappane sokkappane in all the big big temples they celebrate this uh, palm leaves burning festival it is a very main festival of kartika festival they call as tiru kartike tiru means sri sri kartika like that they call so in sri rangam they celebrate in that uh, way this festival actually the tirumangai alwar you know tirumangai alwar he is uh, he appeared in the month of kartik therefore one day tirumangai alwar he went to ranganath and he glorified the songs of the alwars during his appearance day kartik months he sang all the songs with music he sang in front of namparmal so namparmal listened to all the songs sung by the alwars then finally namparmal was very pleased with tirumangai alwar and asked you ask for some benediction what do you want then tirumangai alwar told my dear lord you kindly you listen the songs of the alwars every year we want to celebrate this as a festival not only that not only that for this festival 
we should bring Nammalwar here. Those days there is only one deity of Nammalwar, that is the self-manifested deity that we already spoke, how by boiling the water of Tamaravarni water, the deity appeared of Nammalwar deity. So Tirumangayalwar told, uh, every year we should bring that deity of Nammalwar from Navatirpati, from Tirunelveli and bring to Srirangam and in, in the presence of that Nammalwar or Ranganaji, you should kindly listen to these songs sung by the Alvars. So Nambarmal is so happy to hear these songs which is full of, filled with prem. So Nambarmal told, okay, tandom, tandom, I given you, I given you order. Okay, I sanctioned that. In this way, Nambarmal spoke itself. So in this way, from so from, from that time onwards, every year, uh, the Karthik Mass, the, the main festival day, they will, from the Shirangam temple, a letter letter will be sent by the Nambarmal. On behalf of the Lord, they will send a letter that is to invite Nammalwar to Shirangam. See, even now that festival happened. On behalf of Ranganaji, a palm leaves, it will be written over Nammalwar, you should kindly come to Shirangam for this festival. So this this it is start at Karthik Mass. And the Pujaris and the carriers of the Palakin, all the people, they will all go to Alvarth Nagari. That is something like 300 kilometers from here. On those days. So therefore, it's also Nammal, Namparmal also sent for Nammalwar his personal uh, removed cloth, his garland, his prasadam, all these things, things were sent to uh, Nammalwar on those days, along with the invitation. And so all the most of the pujaris will walk towards that uh, Alvar Tirnagari to bring the deity of Nam Alvar. So therefore we can see after the month of Karthik up to the Danur Mas, up to the Danur Mas, the Margari Mas, Margasirsh Mas, there will be no any uh, procession for the Lord. Ranganaji will not come out because all the carriers, everybody will go to uh, the Tarvar Tirnagari. It will take 30-40 days to reach there and bring the deity back by Palakin. Then they will bring the deity, they will bring the deity to the Vamana temple, then the Vamana deity will come here, then they will celebrate the 10 days festival. Those days Vaigunda Egadashi used to happen for 10 days itself. Then Namalvar will go on next 10 days, he will go back to Alvar Tirunagari. Then there the Vaigunda Egadashi festival will start itself. Then later during the Mughal invasion all these things happened, then they could not bring the Namalvar's deity. Then at the time of Ramanujacharya, this Karthik month letter will go, but Ramanujacharya made this Vaigunda Egadashi festival into 20 days, 10 days inside and 10 days outside. Then the Namal Ramanuja Charya personally created, uh, personally he installed a deity of beautiful Namalvar. That is the Namalvar deity we can see in the Garuda Mandaba of Ranganaji. The Ranganaji temple that is a huge Garuda and uh, when we are facing to Garuda on our right side there is a temple. There is a beautiful deity of Namalvar and Utsavamurthy of Namalvar. On the side by side we can see Tirumangai Alvar and Madhura Kavi Alvar. So these deities are uh, deities uh, installed by Sripad Ramanujacharya during the um, his period. So now on the month of Karthik, a letter will be sent by the Pujaris to the Namalvar. So the letter nowadays they don't take to Alvar Tirnagri. This letter they will take to this Namalvar deity within the Garuda Mandaba. They will show this. And at that time, the Pujaris in the Nammalwar temple, they will carry the Nammalwar deity outside with their own hands, without any palakin. And they will honor Nammalwar with the Nam Perumal's Mahaprasad Garland, Prasad and everything. So in that way, uh, it, is as, it is as if like Nammalwar accepting the invitation to the festival of Vaigunda Egadashi. Then after Karthika, after Karthika, after one month, the Danur Mas, Margashish Mas starts. Then the Vaigunda Egadashi begins. So in that way, the Kartika month has very significance in Shirangam. Also, when uh, uh, Tirumangi Alvar asked permission from the Lord, so Lord also told, so this time from the Kartik to Margari, this one month, like a Vedas, you know, the four Vedas, there is a some time called Anadhyaya Kala. That time the Vedas should not be chanted. There is a some time, particular time, the Vedas should not be chanted. It's a rest time for Veda. Similarly, for this uh, Divya Prabandha, also it is called as Tamil Veda. 
So this from month of Kartika up to the Margasisha, up to the end of the Margasisha, nobody will chant this uh, Divya Prabandha. So Ranganaji, he gave him special, Namparmal gave a special oil used by Namparmal that he gave to Tirumangayarvar to apply in his throat itself. Because to, to keep the throat very strong and to sing more glories of the Lord, to chant more holy names. So Lord gave that special oil to apply in the throats. So even now, the, those who recite the Divya Prabandha, they will apply that oil during that Anadhyaya time. The Anadhyaya means when they should not chant that time. So Namparamal personally gave that oil to the Tirmangi Alvar itself. Shri Namparamal ki jai, Shri Prabhupada ki jai.